What's up guys? So a siege machine is a specialized battle vehicle that was used in the 12th century and it's currently the 21st century and I want to build one. So I was thinking I could start with like a car or a truck to build a siege machine, but that's a little out of my budget. However, I'm not exactly starting from scratch. I'm starting with a, not this, not this. I'm starting with a, Yep, I'm starting with a tractor, and considering this thing's already falling apart, all I can really do is hope that it makes a good siege machine. So first thing we need to do is figure out if this thing's gonna run. All right, so first step to that might be to figure out, yes, it spins, I kind of already knew that it spins. <laughs> oh my gosh, that oil is so clean. So y'all figure out what this does very shortly. Next, I need to get access to the carburetor. All right. I'm gonna put a shot of gas in here and we're gonna find out if it runs. So we're just gonna put a tiny bit of gas in here. Uh, that's really all we need to find out if it runs. Okay, whoa, that was quite a bit. And this, this is what we call a pull rope. I wrap it around here. And then we give it a good pull and hopefully it'll start up. No way. All right guys, so now that we know this thing runs, we can move forward with our executive plan to make this thing a battle vehicle. A siege machine, as it were. And it's gonna be awesome. Like, I can already, I can already tell. We still got a little bit of work to do if we're gonna find out if it's gonna drive. Like, I don't know if the rear axle is good. We're gonna get this thing in good condition, good driving condition, and we're gonna turn it into an actual battle vehicle. Like, I'm gonna strap like a cannon to Not ideal. All right guys, so we're gonna be driving this thing pretty soon. I just went and got the right size belt because this thing's belt driven and I'm removing this old pulley, this old one. It's pretty big as you can see. And I'm replacing it with this very small pulley. Look how small this thing is in comparison to the old one. Now what this small pulley does, it changes the gear ratio and it's gonna go a lot faster with a smaller pulley. So this equals slow, this equals fast. Look how small that pulley is. We're gonna be trying to drive this thing pretty soon. Ouch, that was too fast for the seat. This hurts, and it goes a little a little fast for my liking. All right guys, so we got it running and driving. It doesn't drive very smoothly. Number one is because no seat. It's also got some things that we gotta work out, like for example, the gas line is right next to the exhaust, which not a good design on my part. All right, so it's the next day, and I recorded this whole part where I was like explaining, but it was really long and the audio was really bad. So to give you the basic plan, I'm turning it into a ramming style siege machine. We're currently 0% done turning it into a siege machine. So I started working on one of the most important parts of the build. It's basically the base and the mount to the ram that we're gonna build. Oh yeah. Thank you. 
This is the finished product of the thing we are engineering. It's one of the most important parts of the build, so I decided to paint it. All right, guys, so I'm about to put this back on the mower. This is one of the most important parts of the build because it's gonna be holding on the front bumper thing. I might do extra support, but this is gonna be holding it on mostly. That's why we had to reinforce it with, um, with angle iron and stuff. I also painted it pink because it's the most important part. It's like the heart of the build. Also, I don't discriminate against pink. However, I do discriminate. All right, so this is what I got so far. All right guys, so I am aware this is not the best looking gaming setup, but we'll reinforce it somehow. Um, ah! All right guys, now that we got the base of the front bumper built, it's time to start building the actual, the RAM. It's gonna be ramming into things. No associations with RAM, oh my gosh. I don't know how centered this looks, but I'm, I'm putting it in. Oh yeah. Whoa, that's way too tall. It's blocking the drivability a little bit, but that's fine. This is peak human engineering right here. Wait, that, this has gotta be four feet. What the heck is going on here? That's getting, oh my gosh. This is gonna help. Okay. Ah! Where did we go wrong? All right guys, so it turned out not very good at all. I have some plans as of how to reinforce it, so I'll probably do those tomorrow. All right guys, so I kind of left yesterday out of shame because, anyway, now I'm tasked kind of by myself, but I gotta reinforce this thing somehow. All right, so I've got a bunch of good ideas in terms of reinforcement. Okay, something like this might work. Oh my gosh, that looks so dumb. Uh, what the heck? All right guys, so this is how she looks right now. Um, I'm about to give it a test drive. So I gotta figure out if it's got gas and stuff. Alright guys, so I am aware it doesn't look quite beautiful, but it's just version one, so so it, we're just gonna live with it for now. Um, but we got a few tests we're gonna put it through. Number one is the speed test, and after that we're gonna test it against some walls because it is a ramming style siege machine. We gotta take down some walls. Alright guys, I'm about to go for a speed run. Um, it, this is gonna be kind of sketchy because I haven't tried to go very fast on this mower yet. But we're doing a speed run, I have a speedometer app, so we're gonna see how, exactly how fast it's gonna go. Um, I hope it doesn't fall apart while we're driving it because we still got more tests to do other than a speed run. It was in gear.
Guys, so during this really bad donut, my phone fell out of my pocket, and it looks like I or someone else ran it over, but this is just confirmation that I'm an idiot. So, with that said, I went for another speed run because I felt like I'd get it to a higher speed. Oh, the key's not on. We can do this. Let's go. All right, guys, what a successful speed run. 17 was the max. It was a little sketchy. It was making some weird noises, but 17 is still very successful. Um, so yeah. All right guys, so it's time to put the siege machine to the actual test, to the actual ramming style test. We're gonna ram into all three of these walls and see which one it does the most damage to. Every wall gets stronger and stronger, so I don't even know if it's gonna make it past the second wall. I'm pretty sure it can do the first, the first level one, easy. If this is wall level one, I'm, it's definitely making it through this wall. But this wall is a lot stronger and I'm pretty sure it's not making it through this one. But this one, there's no shot it's getting through. I mean, there's a chance we're still gonna try, but it, it's not getting through this wall. All right, guys, it's time to see if it's making it through all of these walls. Oh my gosh, we almost did it. We almost made it through the brick wall, which I was certain we weren't going to do. It just took a couple rams. Guys, we were literally in the home stretch. We had this to get through and that's not doing anything. Guys, so I see where things went awry. Um, as you can see, this got disconnected, went into the ground. There's the screws that it was at. 
Um, <laughs> if this didn't happen, we probably would have made it through. All right, guys, so this might be the Siege Machine's final resting place. Um, I know it was built like garbage, but I'm not no engineer of any sort. I know that was double negatives, but I'm, I'm really not. So I guess that wraps up the Siege Machine for now. Um, go follow me on Instagram. I'm trying to reach a thousand followers and I'll see you guys very soon. This is Infernox over and out.